If you're looking for the best wide running shoe, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have a six Nova Blast. During our review, one of the gripes we had with this A6 shoe was its longish sizing and overly roomy fit. Guess what? That works perfectly well here. If you don't go a half size down as suggested in our review, the stock Nova Blast has plenty of room for the toes to splay. And it's very breathable as well. Just in time for summer, if you aren't in Australia, that is, the flight of foam midsole is fun to log mileage on. It's responsive, cushion, and peppy enough for high-intensity runs. Moving on to the next at number two with Brooks Hyperion Tempo. We think highly of the Brooks Hyperion Tempo, and that's not just due to its surprisingly spacious upper. The Tempo is an extremely versatile running shoe. The low weight makes the shoe disappear on the foot, and the firm ride gives it enough agility for speed runs. The nitrogen-infused Eva Foam midsole keeps the foot from getting beat down during Tempo workouts and the outsole traction is superb even on damp roads. And that's why the spacious fit is surprising. Usually, such speed-friendly running shoes have a snug fit, but this one does not. Number three position is held by Brooks Launch 8. The Brooks Launch 8 has changed a lot this year. The updates are significant, so this is not a mere refresh. The ride quality is the highlight of the update. The midsole is a lot softer than the stiff Launch 7. So while the lightweight 8.6 us, Slash 244 Launch 8 is a good fit for fast-paced training. It's more comfortable than the 7. But that's not what we're here for, are we? The lightweight mesh upper of the Launch 8 is roomy enough to accommodate most foot profiles. The Launch uses an air mesh, sponge-filled textile, so the seamless interiors wrap the foot in soft and breathable smoothness. Next at number 4, we have Mizuno Wave Rider 24. Mizuno is one of the first brands that come to mind when discussing interior space. Except for their speed trainers or road racers, daily trainers from this Japanese company have a relaxed fit. The Wave Rider used to be a lot roomier before the 23 due to an external toe bumper. Last year, the Mizuno Rider 23 switched to an internal toe bumper that made the forefoot a mite pointy. Despite that, the all-mesh forefoot does a good job at accommodating most foot types. The Wave Rider 24 has a softer midsole and a smaller wave plate, so the ride is softer than before. Though the midsole still has the unique ride signature of the plastic wave plate, the shoe doesn't require a break in period as it did before. The number 5 position is held by Saucony Endorphin Shift. We praise the Endorphin Shift's thoughtfully designed upper during our review of the shoe. Along with excellent ventilation and interior smoothness, the Endorphin Shift spacious upper will fit a wide range of foot profiles, broad-footed runners included. The exteriors are made of a single piece, so there are no seams or hot spots that press against the side of the foot. The gusset keeps the tongue centered without adding bulk, and the tongue and heel have soft and smooth padding for grip and comfort. The endorphins' firm yet deeply cushioned ride makes it an ideal daily trainer. Its midsole geometry also makes it suitable for runs where long distance runs and faster paces come together. The number six position is dominated by Skechers Go Run Ride 8 Hyper. The Hyperburst based Skechers Go Run Ride 8 is a running shoe with plenty of forefoot room. This is not unique to the GRR8. Even the earlier versions had a generous amount of room. The sizing also runs a bit long. Though, though this is a buyer's guide about upper fits, it's worth pointing out that the Ride 8 is a markedly different shoe than the 7, thanks to its firm and responsive hyperburst midsole. Moving on to the next and number 7 with the 6 Gel GT2009. The GT2000 has always been a safe, please all stability shoe with a medial post. The safe character also applies to the upper fit. In its stock D, Regular width, the engineered mesh forefoot offers a just right interior volume. For runners with wide feet, a 6 sells a 2E, wide and 4E, extra wide in the GT2009. The number 8 position is held by Brooks Ghost 13. The forefoot room was never an issue with the Brooks Ghost, and that doesn't change for the 13th model either. The upper is devoid of a full inner sleeve or forefoot overlays, thus making its regular D width comfortable for most feet shapes. The Ghost 13 is also available in an optional wide and extra wide. For this year, the Ghost 13 gets a new midsole that makes the ride smoother and softer than the 12. The midsole no longer uses a separate heel crash pad. The entire midsole is made of a softer foam that leads to the set changes in the ride quality. 
Regardless of the redesign, the Ghost 13 continues to be a daily trainer with excellent versatility. Next at number 9 we have Brooks Adrenaline GTS 21. Here's a supportive neutral running shoe with a just right 4 foot fit. If the standard D sizing doesn't fit, the optional 2E and 4 E widths will help get you out of a tight spot. Just like the Ghost 13, the Adrenaline's perforated mesh and lack of layering create a gold deluxe fit inside the forefoot. The Adrenaline GTS hasn't been the same since the 19th edition. Brooks removed the medial post of the V18 and substituted it with a guide rail. Here, the midsole has raised sidewalls that cup the foot on either side. The Adrenaline GTS 21 has been updated with a softer midsole that no longer uses a separate crash pad. In essence, the GTS 21 is exactly like the Ghost 13, but with the raised guide rails and an inner tongue gusset. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by New Balance Fresh Foam 1080 Velvet. Given the soft and stretchy mesh upper, the 1080 Velvet's regular fit is relatively snug. However, New Balance sells this model from a B, narrow to 4E, extra wide width for narrow and wide footed runners alike. Offering multiple widths isn't the only trick up the 1080 sleeve. This thick, fresh foam midsole a short work of long-distance runs by minimizing foot fatigue. The rocker shape of the 1080 also promotes smooth transitions. That's all for today. We upload product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.